So it is sort of um, early evening Christmas Eve and I am going to do the Brussels um, tonight and I'm going to keep them in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow at lunchtime I'm going to warm them up in the microwave. Now I'm sure that there will be some chefs out there who are turning in their sleep but for me Christmas lunch is all about preparing in advance so you don't have an enormous stress. So the things that I'm going to do tonight are I'm going to peel the potatoes and put them in the pot. I am going to do the Brussels and um, put them in the fridge and that way when I come down in the morning all I've really got to think about is um, my other veg, some bread sauce, getting the turkey in and um, having fun. So um, my schedule tomorrow is going to be stockings at 9.30, then muck about, have some fun, do some smoked salmon on bread with some lemon. These are my Christmas hacks. So over here, I am cooking um, some uh, smoked pancetta and that is going to go uh, in with the Brussels. So I just bought a bag of Brussels and they are kind of um, prepped, which is easier. So I'm just going to boil them, but I don't boil them until they're completely cooked because when I reheat them tomorrow in the microwave, they will cook a little bit more and I don't want them to be overcooked because soggy Brussels just remind me of yucky food at school. I am just chopping, because these are done effectively, just the very tips off. Don't need to do any more. So oh, just to let you know what's happening, I have got the Brussels simmering away over here. Um, I've got the bacon um, over there on some paper towel. And I'm just gonna very finely chop um, half an onion in my favorite gadget ever, which I have reviewed on our podcast. It is called a Xylus chopper. It's a hand chopper, it just goes like that. It's got the blade inside. Right, you ready? <laughs> oh, so satisfying. Look at that. That is amazing. So I'm going to um, fry that off um, until it is translucent, not burned. Then I will mix it all together in a bowl. So um, I am going to, I've taken the um, Brussels off. I've cooked them for probably five minutes, maybe six, five or six minutes. So I'm going to let the um, Brussels sit there for a couple of minutes. I've got the onion cooking, I'm going to put it on the faster hob. Okay, so I'm steaming away here. I've got my Brussels that have been lightly cooked um, for maybe six minutes and then left in the hot water for a couple of minutes. I've got the onion, which was cooked in a tiny little bit of the um, bacon fat. It's got that lovely colour from um, the pancetta, I mean. Um, and I've got um, some pancetta. So I'm going to put the Brussels in a bowl, like so. I need to drain off that water and fat. So a bit of water go in there. We don't want them soggy. We do not want soggy Brussels. Ooh. Nope, not okay. Now I'm gonna use half of this pancetta for, we've got pesto and bacon bits and broccoli tonight for supper. Half of them go in there and with the onion, Lovely. And then just looks like that. And then you stir them around to make sure that the Brussels and the pancetta and the onion all get really well mixed together. Looks really nice actually already. So it kind of looks like that, just a big mess of uh, pancetta and onion and Brussels. And I'm going to thank you, Jamie Oliver, for my uh, pepper mill. I love this pepper mill. Um, put some pepper on there. I'm not going to add any salt right now because obviously the pancetta is quite flavourful. 
and um, I will, when I reheat tomorrow, I put a knob of butter in there. Uh, please don't judge me. And um, I will then season it with a little bit of salt. And then what I'm gonna do, normally I would advise everybody to get um, some wrap to, uh, you know, the reusable wrap to put over anything that you put in the fridge. However, because I'm going to reheat this tomorrow and I am going to put it back in the microwave, I am going to use a bit of cling film and I really try and never use it anymore, but I'm gonna use a bit of cling film to really seal in all this lovely steam that's going. Keep all of that lovely and moist and then tomorrow I can then pierce the cling film when I reheat it in the microwave. Just to show you, this is what I would normally be using to um, put over, but because I want to pierce the covering tomorrow, um, I'm not using my reusable. But uh, this is great stuff. You can uh, get it online and you can use it again and again and again to cover anything that you've got going in the fridge. So that's it. My Brussels are done. And now I'm going to peel my potatoes, put them in water, and then they're ready for tomorrow as well.